Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US there, they're still moving into positive territory after that very positive Friday on the back of that strong non-farm payrolls figure. And we've also seen some very interesting moves in the US dollar overnight as well, with dollar yen, euro dollar and cable all moving in the same direction. Um, so US there, there is hitting 17.075. Next potential resistance, 17.162. Um, and most global equity markets have um, have benefited from that spike. Eurozone um, markets such as Germany 30 hasn't had such a massive spike. Um, we can see here from the from the UK 100, we had such an aggressive sell-off there last couple of sessions that even though Friday was great and we're moving in the right direction today, uh, the UK 100 certainly looks a little bit weaker than the US 30 and the SPX 500. Um, we're in the middle of two ranges right now. Next potential support 65.19. Next potential resistance 65.81. Moving on to Japan 225, um, which is benefiting slightly from that resurgence in dollar yen. We're not quite above 110 again right now. Uh, dollar yen's up 109 spot 37, but still um, looking kind of interesting. Um, probably a little bit heavy at 110, incidentally, since we've had multiple uh, attempts to break up that little bit higher. We'll come back to that in a second. But anyway, um, Japan 225, trading between two ranges, 15.828 and 59.87 is the next potential uh, resistance. And you can see it's just bouncing in between these in today's already volatile session for Japan 225 as the Chinese markets uh, come back online after the protests last week and the Chinese holidays. Um, but the protests seem to be kind of spinning out a fair bit right now. So dollar yen, um, fantastic session there on Friday, getting kind of close to that resistance level at 110 again and it's reverse course, already trading at the bottom of the range so far today. That's not really that, 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 that huge dollar index just a, a couple of points away from its all time uh, from multi-year high sorry um but dollar yen uh, probably wants to have a retest at one 110 spot 77 um but there is going to be a little bit of short-term resistance here as you can see here from the tips of the candles um the closer we get to 110 there is undoubtedly sound pressure um slow to cast it there uh, just going into over uh bot territory with a signal to sell the RSI, that ship sailed already a couple of sessions ago. Um, MACD had the crossover already a couple of sessions ago. So there, there could be a little bit of gas left in the tank, depending on what US data we've got coming out. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, which continues to confound many traders out there. Uh, obviously, the story still is um, lack of demand from China, um, long term uh, slowdown in the Eurozone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it's still very, very volatile. So we're in the middle of two ranges. The fundamentals still look kind of um, kind of weak um, with that kind of pent up you know, kind of lack of demand from China in the future. Sorry, but then there's also a lot of uh, crude positives. You know, we do, do have you know, Libya, we do have Iraq, you do have ISIS problems and uh, oil production. You you would think would be affected, but um, the price of crude continues to get pushed down. So there's a couple of things here that might that might uh, be a little bit problematic for those that have a short bearish view on. Uh, West Texas crude, just to be aware of, and that's obviously the Saudis and OPEC. If they have a cut in production to support crude oil prices, you could see a short-term spike in this. Um, but everything else is pointing to a lot of downwards pressure. So just be very wary of the fact that you know there is obviously pressure on here. Eighty-nine dollars is the next potential support, and then below that it goes a, a, a fair bit lower. Um, but one bit of fundamentals about OPEC cutting production or Saudi Arabia cutting cutting back could cause a short-term spike. So just be uh, careful not saying that's going to happen but that is a risk okay moving on to gold gold's looking pretty weak as ever um crude oil and uh, not crude oil materials non-farm pearls uh, having a big impact on the price right there you're looking at the next potential support 1180 with the next potential support after that being 1155 uh higher interest rate stronger us dollar is not good for gold um we've had a little bit of a bounce today off quite close to potential support uh, but the fundamentals are not in gold's favor right now Euro dollar hit uh, oh, got absolutely smashed there on Friday, um, hitting a multi-year uh, low there. I'm probably pretty sure. Let's actually go into a weekly chart so we can see exactly what's going on there. Well, not multi year. 2012 was the last time it was as low as that. Um, let me get the drawing tools out here for a quick second. Um, we are looking at 120 as the next potential support. Now that is miles and miles away from where we are right now. Um, but the fundamentals are not very bullish euro. And they are a lot more bullish US dollar. And we've not even cut rates or done any more stimulus, uh, stimulus in the Eurozone. So Euro dollar still looks very vulnerable. Uh, so one spot 2661 is potential support, uh, resistance rate, and one spot 20 is the next potential support, which is miles away. Um, so GBP USD looking weak again, getting hit really hard by that uh, non farm payrolls figure. We're trading below 160. We're now looking at 159.17. And um, if, our, if we break below that, our next support level. 
Uh, if you could possibly say we could be looking at one spot 5742. That was broken resistance back in the day. It's probably a level worth keeping an eye on. Um, so economic data wise, uh, nothing much coming out today. If we fast forward on tomorrow, not a huge amount out tomorrow either. Going to Wednesday, not a huge amount out on Wednesday either. So you do have quite an absence of big economic data. So from a technical analysis perspective, maybe a lot of things are already in play. Um, keep around the chart form as ever. Make insights put your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.